Anna Hal. I'm Nora. And we're both co-founders of MedICU. MedICU is a company which provides the most effective resources uh, which are most accessible to you in order to help your medical school application. So if you're applying to medical school this year, we offer a medical school interview course where we go over everything you need to know for your medical school interview and we do a practice MMI and practice panel interview. Um, it's a one day course, you can see the link in the description box below. And this year we've started a community called the Aspiring Medical School Applicants Network. Um, it's basically a support group where we send you a ton of useful resources and we have a private Facebook group. So if you're interested in signing up, it's completely free. Um, just register in the link below. So an MMI interview is one that's becoming more and more popular. It's used by universities like King's, St George's, Cardiff, and essentially it mimics the style of uh, testing at these medical schools, which is OSCE testing. Um, so how it works is you'll have 10 to 15 stations, which are about five minutes each, and in between you'll have one minute breaks. Um, and in this break, you'll read the brief for your next station before you go in. A buzzer will sound um, before you go into your next station, and a buzzer will sound when uh, each station ends. And you have like, the briefs are usually on the wall. Yeah, the go. brief would be on a laminated piece of card outside the station, which is a room that you go into. So tip number one, make sure you take a deep breath between your stations. Each station is marked independently, so it doesn't matter if you've completely messed up the one before, um, as long as you go in with a fresh mindset to the next one, you can still pass that. And it's important to realise that you can pass some stations and fail others and still end up getting an offer. You don't have to pass all of them. And tip number two is prepare for the traditional questions too that you'd get in a panel interview. So questions like, why medicine? Tell me about your work experience. Tell me about a time where you um, were a leader or worked in a team. Um, how do you cope with stress? So, yeah. Tip number three, um, make sure you prepare using your personal statement. Just because it's not a panel interview doesn't mean that there won't be a station using your personal statement. Most MMIs usually do a station with your personal statement specific questions. Yeah. So make sure you go through your personal statement and you can answer any questions that come off that. Any books you've read, any articles you've mentioned, any diseases, make sure you underline those and you're able to ask any questions they can ask you on that. Definitely generate an entire list of questions from your personal statement and practice them. So tip number four, make sure you prepare for the ethical questions. You're likely to have a station just on an ethics question and luckily for you, we've done an entire video um, on how to prepare for these questions. And then number five is be wary of the abstract type questions. So in one of my interviews, it was a traditional interview, but you can also get it in panel interviews. I was shown a painting and they were like, decipher this painting. And it's completely out of the box, could throw someone off so easily, but the key is to pause, think, and then speak out loud. Answer these questions as simply as possible. So what I had to think about when I was pausing before I answered the question is, what are they trying to get from me? How does this link back to medicine? And I guess it linked back to medicine in the, in the sense that in medicine, you're gonna have to decipher things like x-rays. You're gonna have to solve problems. So they were trying to work out, number one, how I worked under stress, because it's probably a stressful situation given like being thrown off like that. Number two, how I can interpret things, even if they're extremely abstract. So just think out loud for those questions. Uh, following on from that, so role play scenarios, again, they could be something quite abstract, like explaining a concept, so uh, teaching someone how to tie a shoelace or explaining the structure of DNA to a five-year-old. Um, another thing you can get for role play is breaking bad news, which is quite popular, or counselling someone, so uh, counselling your friend who's just been caught plagiarising some work. Um, in these scenarios, all they're testing is your communication skills, so it's important to remember that there's no right or wrong answer. As long as you can sort of have a good conversation, demonstrate empathy. Um, another really important thing for these stations is if they have props around you, so a box of tissue or a bottle of water, make sure if the patient or the actor in front of you appears distressed, you offer them some tissue, you offer them some water, there will be marks for these kinds of things on the mark sheets. For the breaking bad news, make sure that you can demonstrate empathy by phrases like, I understand that must be really difficult for you, um, is there anything else I could do to help you? And for the explaining the concept ones, these are the ones that really throw people off. But 
just take it step by step. So, for example, explaining the DNA to a five-year-old, break it up into using analogies. So maybe use something like gummy worms to explain the structure of the DNA or um, ask the five-year-old how much they actually already know before you begin um, because they might, be, they might really enjoy DNA That's or know a lot about it. So just have a logical way of going through these stations. There's no right or wrong answer, but as long as you can get your point across, um, that's all they're really testing. So actually on the interview course that we run, Manahal always says, if there are no props in a room and someone is crying, the actors are crying and they're so good at crying and getting angry, so be prepared for that. Um, they get professional actors. Just pretend, if there's nothing there, that you have a box of tissues or you have some water. Say, here, let me pour you some water. Have a glass of water. Have some tissues. And also, you know, with the um, explaining a difficult concept, it's really important to bear in mind who you're explaining it to. So Manahal mentioned a five-year-old. You'd speak differently to a five-year-old than you would to a grown-up, right? Each station is really different, so make sure that each station for you is a different first impression. Go in with a smile, shake the hand, and um, treat it as completely different from the next, as I said before. Because I just said earlier, you can fail one, but then pass the other. Just make sure if something goes wrong, you don't like that. Let, you don't let that bog you down. Just keep going strong. Also, bear in mind that some things you might have mentioned in previous stations, um, you're probably going to have to bring up again. So if you mentioned a certain achievement of yours, maybe you won a really prestigious prize and you managed to bring that in somehow, if you can bring it in again in a different station further down the line, bring it in because it will impress them and that interviewer is independent of the other ones and they haven't heard that yet. And then a massive one is to enjoy your interview. I know it sounds completely absurd, like how the hell can you enjoy your interview, but honestly, take it as an opportunity to have intellectual conversations with people at the forefront of their fields. Um, just breathe, relax, go with it. Thank you very much for watching, we hope that's helped. Um, all the links for our social media will be down below. Um, the links to the register and sign up for our course will also be down below. Yeah, so that's an interview course if you're interested. Um, they're going to run up to, up until January. And also don't forget to subscribe to Rohan's YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and the very best of luck with your upcoming interview.